Hello everybody, welcome to a new week. It's Thursday today and I've just had a sort of emotional moment because I've just helped at my last youth club evening. I took it over with a friend in autumn 2011 and my kids left youth club years ago and after they got roped into helping me out I sort of ran it on my own for a while but now there's a committee doing a really good job so I thought it was time for me to give it up really I just don't have the time I've got so many things on the go at the moment so yeah I decided to leave running the youth club and I've still got some admin to do we've still got to sort out um tons of stuff the council want from us before they give us some funding but anyway <laughs> they be they were really nice they brought me these lovely flowers look aren't they beautiful i don't think i've had a bunch of flowers like this since um since my kids were born <laughs> yeah really kind and they all signed a card as well oh i'm feeling croaky <laughs> you can tell my voice is croaky because i've been a youth club shouting at them all evening actually our village youth club is really nice all the kids are lovely and they just need reminding to calm down occasionally <laughs> that's i will kind of miss it there's no denying i will it's nice knowing that i've helped provide a space for local teenagers to hang out and mainly they just play it and chase each other around the whole time i live in a very rural village and there is nothing to do there is nothing for the kids to do and particularly in winter when it's dark and they're not allowed out to play it just gives them somewhere to go and hang out so yeah if you um if you have teenage kids i do encourage you to go and help out at your local youth club they would really appreciate it speaking of which if anyone's local watching we now need a new chairperson. No one stepped up for the job yet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go and find some water to put these flowers in and then I shall get off to bed because it's quite late now. So good night for now. Saturday we've come to Wells today I'm really excited we're booking our holiday but look at this weather it's pouring down with rain and I've got all sort of dressed up to do a weekly wardrobe shoot because um, there are some lovely streets in Wells and I thought I'd get a nice background but oh my goodness it is just chucking it down look at this that's the church from Hot Fuzz so I'm not quite sure what we're gonna try and do Chris has got Chris is just wearing his hoodie he's not even got an umbrella or a coat men you know why I've got both but he'll be right in just his hoodie yeah 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 we're booking a holiday we're going on a cruise round Greece so that is really exciting and something lovely to look forward to we're gonna go with my parents and obviously the kids <laughs> Christmas waving at me. We have um, given up. It's pouring with rain. <laughs> we think we've got enough pictures, though, don't I we? Think, yeah, we've got enough. They are a little soft. A little soft because it's so dark so these pictures this week are not going to be our best but we think it, at least it's a diffused natural light yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hello well we're back home and um oh well we finally booked our holiday we didn't come out quite as excited as you expect to be after booking a holiday because 45 minutes it took piano to answer the phone while we waited to confirm our booking and sort everything out plus then we have to keep going up a grade to get what we expect for the price you know we don't want a double bed we don't want twin beds and all that sort of thing so you know I came out of the travel agent feeling a bit meh considering we have just booked a holiday but it's all starting to sink in now and sort of starting to get used to the idea of um finding out about where we're going so i've never been to greece before so this will be exciting yeah got lots of research to do and i might try learning the language last time we did a cruise we went to italy and i just listened to Back. I'm vlogging. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah our last cruise we went around italy so i just listened to learn italian youtube videos for a couple of months before we left and actually it turned out to be incredibly useful because in one of the places we went we got totally lost and i had to ask directions and i knew how to i knew how to ask it and didn't quite understand fully what they said but we got the gist and we made it to um that was when we got the public transport to pompeii yeah so i will try and learn a bit of greek i think that i'll, I'll have a go anyway so yeah so that's us now and uh jude's back with the mcdonald's i'm not having it sadly i've had my weight watchers microwave now mm. okay then i'll see you again later bye Hello everybody, it's Monday, welcome to a new week. Our logs have just arrived, so I've only got a minute because I'll go and help him unload it all because they don't have a tipper truck for some silly reason. So we need to push them all off by hand, which takes a while, but it's good exercise, keeps the arms strong. What was I gonna say? The sun is shining. Look how beautiful the fields are looking today. It's, been, it's one of those days where one second it's hailing, the next second it's pouring with rain. Please forgive my very shiny face, I have just exfoliated. <laughs> oh, I've gone really dark now so you can't see me anyway. I feel really bad, Chris mended the curtain pole over the weekend and um, it's just broken, look. See up there, that one fell out and wouldn't go back in because the wall is too soft so he put a new like bracket in there and he obviously had to then change it the other side as well and look the whole thing just broke when I opened the curtains while the log man is getting started it's best to stay out of his way at the beginning because he uses a rake to get them off and yeah you'll get smacked in the head with a rake if you're not careful I've got a few things to post today actually so I'm just going to pop downstairs to the basement where they're all stored to get them ready so the things I'm packaging up today are we've got a um, Victorian maid's apron a really delicate silk voile one, which is really pretty. A pair of Poison Industries punk trousers. Um, I don't know if you can see some of the details. They're really cool. And I had a taker for that bag I showed you the other day. So this is whisking its way to Australia. I'm so pleased it's got a new home. Do you hate it when you're not overly keen on something you're given? I just feel so guilty, but I'm really happy it's going to a new home. Yeah. So that's that. My bouquet of flowers are still looking really pretty. I've sort of taken it apart a bit. I've got a, a rose separately over there because I'm trying to do a load of Instagrams with them. Why not, you know, once I've, well, I've got the chance with a bouquet. I, I mean, when do you get a bouquet of flowers? Not very often if you're me. But the weather has just been utterly rubbish. Yesterday it was just grey all day and there was no, I started when at the brightest point of the day I managed to get a few nice Instagrams but not very many and then it just got too dark so I thought well I'll have another try today and it's not looking too bad at the moment but the weather is just changing so fast. One minute you've got glaringly bright sunshine and the next minute it's just gone black and it's pouring with rain. Speaking of which I think I might need to pop outside and cover up those logs. <laughs> After all that the sun came out I rushed out to do the logs and then the sun came out typical mind you it's gone all dark and black again so um, now I'm not so rushed now that the stuff's gone off to the post office I shall oh, the dog's making horrible eating noises in the background I shall just pop outside and check that that's all all right now I'm running late but um, I'm waiting for Chris is on the phone and he's giving me a lift because I'm actually going out tonight I'm off to the pub we're doing a choir social which is nice we sort of went out to the pub after our last rehearsal at Christmas but this time we're having a proper meal and a quiz I think um, so I'll be useless and I feel sorry for everyone else in my team but that's all the fun of it isn't it and oh, I didn't want to be late I'm always late and I didn't want to be late and this time for a change it's not my fault Chris is on the phone and I don't know I don't know whether to stand out by the road because someone will be going down that way <laughs> it's just down there but I can't walk down that road it's far too dangerous Okay, um, I'm off then and 
Sorry, I'm sounding really panicky and really, I'm just really excited and going out. Whoa! Good morning. I am so tired. It was a lovely evening last night. Oh, a bit wonky. Is that better? We had a really, really good evening. I didn't take the camera obviously because I don't think they would have minded being filmed but then I would have had to have explained everything. The food was delicious, it was so nice to have just a home cooked meal made by someone else. Chicken chasseur we had, sort of like a casserole but it was very very nice. Oh I'm sorry I can't string two sentences together properly because of course I was on such a high from going out and chatting to people I had two glasses of wine, that's all. I did the classic poor teenager thing and had a glass before I left and then a glass there and I was like well away. I was so pissed. <laughs> it was like, but thinking about it, this is the first alcohol I've had at all this year, I think. So it's not surprising. Plus I hadn't eaten much yesterday because I knew I was going out for a meal in the evening. So I'm like, oh my goodness. I was like almost the life is all of the, <laughs> of the party talking to people I was relaxed I think I'd make quite a good alcoholic I'm saying flippantly I'd be but I'd be like um that guy and do you remember in that friends episode where they um, make friends with someone who turns out to be an alcoholic and then he gets clean and then he turns out to be really boring that would probably be me <laughs> if it was if I did do that but anyway oh the light's really weird and changey the sun is like one minute right in my eyes yeah I'm probably better in the shade slightly so I'm gonna go and have some breakfast I think we've got somebody coming today to fix our socket in our bedroom so actually before I have breakfast I better quickly make the bed and clear up the corridor to get to the bed and the staircase and uh, fuck I've got to tidy up a lot I'm off to start the day properly bye hello everybody it's Wednesday I, th I think you're gonna find that I do most of my videoing on a Wednesday because I'll get to the end of the week and think oh my god I haven't done anything interesting quick think of something interesting to do and I'll quickly get my camera out every Wednesday that's probably what might happen anyway I thought you might like to see what's coming the post this week and is still on my kitchen table I've got two packs of Dylon um, I'm about to go and carry on with the dyeing from last week. See, the way, I don't know where, it's the 1st of March today. I don't know where February went. Do you know where it went? I didn't get anything done in February at all. A new pair of shoes, which I'm really excited to have found this brand. It's called The Art Company. And I love these shoes. I, I can't wait to wear them, they're really cool. I mean, these are secondhand from eBay. I think they're quite expensive new but I think I bought these for £20 with postage, so I'm quite pleased with that. I think they're about £100 new or something. But I love that style of shoe, and I want to look out for a few more bit similar to that as well. And the other thing, <laughs> I bought some glasses again off eBay, and I do like rustic -y, wobbly type things for the kitchen, <laughs> and um, I found these glasses, and it said in the description, please check measurements, these are large tumblers. So I checked the, the height was I think 11 centimeters. I thought, well that's fine, if anything that's a bit small. I didn't think to check the width. Look how big they are. <laughs> they are huge glasses, but really cool. And this, I mean really, we, I was thinking like, if I do some fancy, they'd be great in the summer for puddings, you know, like mousse or something like that. Like I ever make things like that, but you know, if I did. Sadly, one of them had broken. Look, the the box has clearly been dropped. And uh, yeah, sadly, this one came totally smashed. Also, new pair of black jeggings, which do not look new anymore. They're already covered in cat hair and dog slobber. So these are the two shirts I dyed last week. It's really weird because in real life, these are really green, but through the camera, it looks like they have gone gray, which is really strange because I have to admit that is a much nicer color than it is in real life, but I kind of like the greeny sort of color. But yeah, I'm pleased. I thought it was patchy, but it's actually quite even. So yeah, I have now two new shirts to wear. It 
turns out there was a hole in the rubber gloves and now I have a black finger. I'm a bit worried that that dye has taken a little too well actually. Look how black that's gone. It looks like there might be no remnants of grey whatsoever at the end of this. Oh well. So we'll see how it works. While that's dying I'm going to film a video about my Rayburn. The video I did a while ago about how to bank it down and keep it going. Um, that's done really well and I think people do want more information about it so I'm going to now film a video about what it's like to own one, what sort of things you need to think about before you buy one and that sort of thing. So that's what I'm going to do now and I'll see you later. Hello, well it's the end of Wednesday now, well almost the end. I've had quite a productive day. I did a weekly wardrobe um, photo shoot ready for next Monday's vlog and I filmed the Rayburn video which I'm hoping to get edited quite quickly and up as well. I'm really annoyed I forgot to film Jude making her pancakes yesterday evening. I just totally forgot I was still working and then I was off to choir and then yeah it just time just disappeared as usual. I was gonna say something about Zoe Sugg being responsible for the decline in literacy levels in teenagers but then I thought well do I really need to say anything does anyone really think that it's all her fault I mean come on it's ridiculous the whole thing is ridiculous the original article I think um was a bit more broad and blamed YouTuber books generally. And then the Guardian writer Zoe Williams then got just basically laid into her. <laughs> She'd clearly never read the book because she just totally avoided that subject. Oh, it's just bizarre. And it's weird that they say things like, Harry Potter was fine for primary school kids because that challenged them. But what about all the adults that read the Harry Potter books? I mean, surely the years the Harry Potter books came out, I bet the level of reading for adults dropped severely because we were all reading Harry Potter. I mean, I love Harry Potter. It's just, but of course, but I don't find it particularly challenging. Does that matter? Also, I mean, why would teenagers want to read anything challenging? I actually wrote a book for teenagers back in the day and I didn't sit there and think, well, what should I write that will challenge them? No, I just wrote a book I thought or I hoped they might like to read which is I'm sure what Zoe was doing when you've got Shakespeare and of mice and men on the curriculum you just want something light-hearted to read then don't you after school <laughs> I mean oh dear teenagers lives are hard enough without wanting their entertainment to challenge them oh well that's my little rant about the subject I think it is just utterly utterly ridiculous <laughs> okay Chris has just got back with the shopping. Um, we had to do click, click and collect this week. It wasn't delivered. I forgot to do it on time. Right, so I'm going to help bring it in from the boot. I'll see you later. Bye.